Good morning, Green Valley. You are tuned in to GVTV. Hey, Gators. I'm Kayla Borsma. And I'm Matt Nadafi. Welcome to GVTV. Gators, the 2012 Prudential Spirit of Community Awards is a unique opportunity to recognize young people for volunteer service in their communities. See Mrs. Adams for more details. Freshmen and juniors, sign up for the PSAT today at the school bank. Bring $15 before or after school or during first lunch to the school bank. Don't miss this amazing opportunity to prepare for college by taking the PSAT. Saturday, October 8th, there will be a cross-country meet at Veterans Memorial Park starting at 8 a.m. Do you have a job? Do you want to gain an easy A? See Ms. Nipel in the College and Career Center today. Hurry up and buy your own copy of Gator Memories for the low, low price of only $15. Hey, Kayla. I almost got hit by a car this morning. It was pretty scary. Wow, that's awful. Good thing you're alright. Yeah, the worst thing is they weren't even paying attention. They were too busy texting. Well, here's Marissa on the dangers of texting and driving. Hey Gators, I'm Marissa Colachella. Texting while driving has become a major issue in the past few years. 84% of teenagers will admit to being on their phone while in the car and 49% of them will be texting. Basically, um, teenage driving, the biggest cause of teenage crashes is distracted driving. Uh, whether it be through cell phones, friends in the car, eating in the car, anything that is a distraction that takes your focus off the driving task. Saturday, October 1st, a new traffic law was put into effect. Texting, using your phone, or just talking on it is illegal. It's important not to text and drive because anything can happen just like that, just snap a finger. So. It's important you always keep your eyes on the road and not on your phone. When using your phone while driving, you are not only putting yourself in danger, but others in your car and on the road also. Well, I think texting and driving is absolutely the worst thing you can do. Um, it's basically because if you think of it this way, if someone asked you to close your eyes and drive down the road for six seconds, most people wouldn't do that. But the fact that you're taking your eyes off the road for five to six seconds when you're reading and sending a text, People, some people think that's no problem, and really there's no difference because you're not paying attention to the road. In 2009 alone, 448,000 people were injured just because of distracted drivers. Well, I'm glad this law passed because I think texting and driving is very unsafe. You know, we teach that you need to focus and pay attention to what you're doing and limit those distractions as much as possible. While being distracted, drivers will spend 10 seconds in the wrong lane. As many times the police officers will think it's this person, they, they expect to get up to the car and this person's going to be drunk, and here they were just on their phone. According to ZeroFatalitiesNevada.com, while on your phone, a teenager's reaction time slows to the reaction time of a 70-year-old. So just remember, Gators, to put the phone away while you're in the car. I'm Marissa for GVTV. Epic yearbook time. Get ready for the new school year, Gators. What you know about yearbooks? Every yearbook needs a good base. It's time to pump up the base. Paper? Yeah, we're getting paper. Get back, Chris Brown. Let's add some color to the mix. Pretty colors for a pretty yearbook. Swag. Get ready for the camera, Gator. Picture time, picture time, picture time, picture time, picture time. Film strips, film strips, it's a cornucopia of film strips. Every yearbook needs some Mitchell Parker. He's adorable. Add some more yearbooks to change the game. Getting ready for the final product, Gators. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, so nothing. No, like we're school school school. School. All right, get back to work. Yes, we're okay. 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 Oh, it's yearbook time. All right, Gators. Now it's time to order your epic yearbook. Just go to www.jostens.com to order your epic yearbook today. Did you know Mr. Bidwell is Teacher of the Month for September? Oh, Senior Bidwell? What a coincidence. It goes perfectly with it being Hispanic Week last week. Here is Kenzie of Mr. Bidwell, along with a quick recap of the activities during Hispanic Week. Hola, 
alligators. My name is Kenzie Lara. Mr. Bidwell is by far one of my favorite teachers here at Green Valley High School. He's an excellent Spanish teacher and he's by far one of the funniest guys I know. So here we go. Mr. Bidwell, take it away. Hello. Hola. My name is Jason Bidwell and I teach here at Green Valley High School. I've been teaching at Green Valley for 12 years. I lived in Spain for two years from 1992 to 1994. And then went to college and learned Spanish, and now I teach Spanish. I teach all Spanish 2 this year. Every class, Spanish 2. Two different levels, but all Spanish 2. Honors is obviously an honors level class, but it's more suited for the kids that are only going to take two years. And then pre-APIB is for the kids that are going to go into the APIB program, and they need to go to Spanish 4. I have three daughters that go here. Really? Daughter Alexa, who's a sophomore, and my two stepdaughters, Shannon Casey and Allison Casey. I golf and um, spend time with my kids and prepare my lessons for teaching Spanish. I've taken kids to Spain three different times on school trips. Uh, 2013, we're going to go to Costa Rica instead. How long have you been teaching at Green Valley? Twelve so? years. You have to wait till I finish the <laughs> sentence. Okay. So how long have you been teaching? Twelve years. <laughs> <Are> you serious? <laughs> okay. You can just say twelve years. Twelve years. Well, in a complete <laughs> sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> Last week we celebrated Hispanic Week during both lunches. Students enjoyed chip and salsa, music, and a limbo competition where our own Matt Nadafi was our winner. Let's enjoy some of the sights and sounds. Our special guest and Green Valley graduate was Big Bog from 97.5. Thanks, Mr. Bob. Number one night jock, hot 975. Born and raised here in Las Vegas. I went to this school, Green Valley High School, class of 1994. Second class to walk through here. Green Valley High School is very dear to me. It has uh, molded me to the man I am. Taught me a lot of life values and pretty much like the best time of my life I could give to a student going to Green Valley High School is I understand some of y'all just think school is blah, blah, blah. Get your education. Without education, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be much of anything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not gonna get a good job. You're not gonna get all the things that, as Americans, you die and stress and work hard for. You're not gonna get that if you don't achieve. Your ultimate goal is to get that diploma, walk across that stage. And what better school to get it from than Green Valley High School? So all I'm saying is, I know it's got to get up early, you got to do homework, but do it. All right, if you made it this far, finish. Gators, have you ever wanted to find a quiet place where you can read, study, or just get work done? Why not the Green Valley Library? They have the team lounge open. Here's camera. what's going on?
There's a lot of clubs on campus to fulfill everyone's need. There's one club that many people don't know about. And that's Best Buddies. Here's Carrie with the story. Hi, I'm Carrie Callahan here, and I just want to introduce you to a club that's very close to me, and that's Best Buddies. You would be surprised that most kids at Green Valley aren't informed about Best Buddies. It is a club that forms one-on-one -on -one friendships with students from the general education and students with intellectual disabilities. We've had Best Buddies on campus for a while now. My personal involvement um, started last year as the co-advisor, the general education advisor, um, along with Ms. Schultz. Um, after the birth of my son in January of 2010, he was born with Down syndrome, I started searching out programs um, here at school and in the community that I know will um, help my son as he grows up. So I wanted to know as much as I could about these programs prior to getting him involved. Part of the club is hanging out with your buddy and going to events like a picnic at the park, walks, or even bowling. Michael, how did you get into Best Buddies? Um, I joined last year, kind of late. Um, I came in because they needed my help for the Special Olympics. And uh, I just hung around ever since. What's your favorite part about it? Oh, it's just a great time. I, mean, I love all the kids, I love the club. It's great. Our next big event is on Friday, October 21st, and that's a Halloween party. And remember, Gators, it's never too late to join Best Buddies. This has been Matt and Doppy. And Kayla Borisma. You checking the game yet? Yeah, it's called Fatfish, right? Yeah, it's made by Thomas Meek and Clayton Fife. It's pretty cool. I mean, kids in our own school made it. Why not check it out, guys? Stay classy, Gators. Thank you for watching GVTV.